TSMC elected a new board of directors on Monday at its annual shareholder meeting. Acer founder Stan Shu left the board after two decades. The new board includes Raphael Reif, the president of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the U.S. During Monday's meeting, TSMC shareholders also put questions to executives about an incoming shipment of COVID vaccines. TSMC convened a shareholder meeting on Monday with safeguards up against the epidemic. It rented three whole floors of a hotel for the event and set up plastic partitions between its panel of executives. TSMC Chairman Mark Liu called for unity against the pandemic. At this particularly tense time during Taiwan's epidemic, let us unite and fight the epidemic as one to get through this difficult time together. During the Q&A session, shareholders focused on TSMC's donation of 5 million Pfizer vaccines, asking about the progress of the procurement. This was possible only because the entire company mobilized behind it. This isn't a case of donating if you want to make a donation. The most important question was whether we could even buy it. And now the dust has settled on a done deal. Everyone is doing their best to bring vaccines to Taiwan as soon as possible. TSMC said it had been tough going securing the deal, which it began looking into in mid-May. Some say TSMC was able to cut a deal because foreign countries were clamoring for its corporate investment. Regarding Japan, we're currently in the inspection stage. Regarding the cost of setting up plants in Japan and Taiwan, it is more expensive to build in Japan, but we are doing so in response to client demands. We have discussed the cost with our clients. As for Germany, we're still evaluating it seriously. The final highlight of the shareholder meet was the board of directors election. Asa founder Stan Shi stepped down from the board. Raphael Reif, president of the U.S.'s Massachusetts Institute of Technology, was approved as an independent director to the world-leading foundry.